Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, um, Sundays and Wednesdays, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to um, capture my thoughts. Um, the vagabond anointing. You know who a vagabond is? A vagabond is what we call in a local language, kobolo, or somebody who is lawless. I mean, uh, nobody speaks into the person's life. They're masters of their own, you get it, and they, they wander like street urchins. You get it, they wander from place to place and they just misbehave. And uh, I mean, when you say, uh, uh, something like a, 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 a typical Huckleberry Finn <laughs> sort of character, you know, in, in Tom Sawyer, if you remember. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, verse 11 to 20, a very powerful story unfolds. Now the Bible begins by particular sense saying, now there were certain vagabond Jews. Now there were certain Kobolo Jews. Now there were certain lawless Jews. Now there were certain Huckleberry Finn Jews. Now there were certain uh, Jews who went about casting out demons in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. So they went out casting out demons in the name of of Jesus, who Paul preaches. So, and the Bible says on one, amongst them were the seven sons of Sceva. Now, I, I was intrigued. People, they had fathers. They had people who were supposed to be corrective uh, parents in their lives. But the Bible says, definitely described them as vagabond. And it said, they went out casting out demons in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches. And guess the scenario, or guess what happens, or guess what ensues. The Bible said, one time they went out casting one particular demon. Oh boy, he beat them. He, I mean, he pounced on them. They went out and said, come out in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches. And then the demon said something. He said, Paul, I know. And Jesus, I know. But who are you? Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you? Now, the, the, the question that the demon asked them was an identity question. Who are you? I know Paul because he submits to Jesus. I know Jesus because he submits to his father. But who are you? I know Paul because Jesus speaks into his life. I know Jesus because the father speaks into his life. But who are you? Who speaks into your life? And you see, they went out casting out demons in the name of uh, Jesus, whom Paul preaches, and they had, and they had, and they had had a level of success. They had had a level of 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 power. I mean, they've done it before, and therefore, in time, in going to do it again, then trouble came. And the Bible says the demon pounced on them, beat them, stripped them naked, and I guess they went jumping out of the windows and ran away. Now here's the principle: What anointing are you are you sitting under? And what kind of anointing are you fellowshipping around? Who is speaking into your life? And who is bringing correction? Are you, you think you're anointed so nobody should speak into your life? Nobody should bring correction to you? Now, guess what? With time, you're going to meet a certain type of warfare. And that warfare is going to make you sit at the table of shame. The Bible says it pounced on them, beat them, and stripped them. So they became naked. Can you imagine those guys, powerful people, jumping windows, naked? Don't want to imagine the rest. I'm not going to say it. But that leaves question marks in your name. Powerful people, and all of a sudden, they had been brought to the table of shame. If you remember, Adam said, I was naked and I was ashamed. So now they are eating the bread of shame. You be there. Let no one speak into your life. Let no one bring correction. Let no one tell you this is what you're doing. Don't do it this way. Don't do it that way. Rebel against every authority. You will invariably come to a table of shame. And when God brings you to that place, you know something? What do I ask him? Who are you? It's an identity question. And if you read the Bible, 
Everybody will say, son of, son of, son of. Because somebody is speaking into your life. So who is speaking into your life? Invariably, if you don't have anyone speaking into your life, you will come to the table of shame. You will be visited by shameful experiences and probably that will teach you. Because you know what? Your mother gives you life, but your father gives you an identity. So the question the demon asked them was, who are you? Where are you coming from? Who is correcting you? Who is bringing discipline to you? And those are very, very serious questions that each and every one of us must answer. Who is speaking into your life? Who brings correction to you when you're in error? Who tells you, don't do it this way and do it that way? Now, the Bible says they were vagabond Jews. So, you know, you would enjoy success for a while, but with time, it will catch up with you and you'll be exposed when you come to the table of shame. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you? You know, vagabond anointings, they would operate and thrive for a while. But with time, if you watch them very carefully, there's an expiry date written on their backs. They can see it. But if you give them time, you will see they would expire when they sit at the table of shame. Vagabond anointing. Be careful.